just news. It's a movement. Sports Authority. This portion of the news is brought to you courtesy of Lime. Value every moment. Welcome back to News Watch. Our Darren Blair has the latest in Sports Authority. Meet Shane, Caden, Corset, Wendy, and Father Jason Moskowitz. These are the name of the Californian family who has made a generous contribution to further the development of softball and baseball throughout the Turks and Caicos. And over the past, um, few months and I would say yes, we do receive donations from various persons outside of this territory and especially the US. And today we are here with Jason um, last name Moskowitz, Moskowitz uh, out of California and he is him and his family. Uh, and they called me up um, a few weeks ago um, saying that they were coming down to Turks and Caicos and they want to um, donate to our program here in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And as you know, we do have programs uh, here probably in Providenciales, Grand Turk especially, and North Caicos and South Caicos that are always asking for, for softball and baseball gear. Bean and team have received some 25 teams worth of gears and uniforms that will be shared among schools here in Providenciales and South Caicos and in Grand Turk. Jason says this is a family effort and this is the first of many strides that he will make to ensure that more persons that are visiting the islands contribute to the community as best as they can. Well, we came to Turks and Caicos last year and we had such a wonderful time meeting local people and enjoying your beaches and when our family likes to travel and we come back to another place we like to give back and try to do something to connect a little deeper and uh, not just be a, a tourist that comes and goes. So. One of the reasons we're doing this is try to encourage other people like us to give back when they come to visit your island. So thank you. Uh, we collected about 25 teams worth of uniforms, baseball gloves, bats, mitts, helmets, uh, starting with my own kids stuff. And uh, uh, the community that we came from came out and donated a lot of gear. And hopefully uh, you know, this, this tape and some of the experiences we have this week will go back and it'll encourage a lot of other people to come out and help out. And in the future, you know, we can help uh, uh, participate in building new fields and, you know, ultimately just giving uh, the Church of Caicos Islands a chance to compete against the Dominican when, when uh, we go and play those guys. One of the main reasons Moskowitz says that he decided to do this was because of the meaningful impact that it would make and what that impact would lead to. When people want to uh, donate things like this, it, the fact that it goes to a real person, a real kid who really wants to play baseball tomorrow, um, helps motivate the people on the other side who are doing the giving and doing the collecting. And, um, you know, when you, when you donate money to a big organization, you don't really know where it goes or what happens. That's, that's, that's one way of doing it. But when you donate money to an organization that delivers groceries to, you know, 90 year old people that can't get out of bed, uh, it, it, it is more meaningful and impactful both on the recipients and, and the giving end. So, so again, we feel like, Hey, if, if, if there are real kids here that want to use this stuff and, uh, you know, that's just going to lead to a bigger pipeline. And, uh, that, that's, one of the reasons we're doing it as well. For BTV News Watch, I'm Darren Hillier. Time now for a check on your weather. Grand Turk scattered thunderstorms expected for you on Saturday night. Winds low to 73. Winds east southeast at 13 miles per hour. Scattered thunderstorms on Sunday high of 87. Low 74.